Man, I've just been standing here listening to this music for the past few minutes. It is awesome. I love this song. Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to Soldiers. Last time we finally made it out of the spider caves by defeating what I'm assuming was the Spider Queen. And now we are out in the open and on the road to Half In City. And there appears to be some people here. <sighs> Looks like the regiment inspecting the Western Caves finally started to come out. Sure did. I wouldn't have gone in for anything in the world. Give me a break. You'd have gone wherever you were ordered. Ah, I suppose. Who am I ladding? They find what they were looking for. Not what, but who? Some kind of god on Earth, but they were only monsters. Wow. Wonder what it looks like. Heck if I know, ladies. Heck if I know. So, hello there, dog soldier. Oh, jeez, you're a hammer, bro. Okay, um, you just keep doing your thing. I can't quite get you up there. Oh, jeez, you got some reach. Uh, what's over here? What is this? Is this a flower? Oh, I burned it. Okay, I, I just killed a plant. So, what are you? You're like a miniature knoll. Well, you're dead now. And the spoils are mine. Money! I'm actually really curious what that creature is. All right, bestiary. Duo, bado, creepantula is what those are called, really? Lion plant, lion tree, spider acolyte. So they are acolytes. They're all that remains of an ancient spider worshiping sect. Oh, so they, they worshiped them? Interesting. Also, we can identify loot from them. So yeah, like the creep actually gives a rat pendant. Spider acolytes apparently can drop something too. And they're weak to wind. That's interesting. Mothina, the killer widow, which I only saw one of. Carball. I don't like them, but I like their name. They are Carballs. The empty soldier that we had to kill there. Oh, they're Kobolds. Man, okay, kobolds always take appearance in one of two ways in games I've found. They're either lizard things or dog things. I don't mind the dog kind. The lizard kind are my favorite, but those are adorable. They generate polluting and pillaging over a peaceful coexistence. Gangs of pillagers take advantage of them with the promises of easy gold and silver, using them as direct bait on the roads to take whatever they can. <laughs> okay, so the hammer bros are kobolds. Got it. Well, they are they are definitely adorable enough that I'm okay with calling them kobolds. Even if they aren't lizards. Whoa! Got him. Okay. Up close, they are also pretty dangerous. Gotta remember that. Let's burn this flower and get some health. So, let us continue on the road. Where we are being beset by cobalt bandits. Ooh, it's starting to get nice over here. What the heck? Okay, bird critter. Gotta watch out for you. Got him. Hmm. What in the world? Is this another... Oh, it's some kind of fruit. Okay. And all the decorative detail is also... Is just an absolute delight. I'm loving the various plants all over the place and how they all can be burned maybe I shouldn't be happy about that last part I don't know let's get the money and keep on climbing but first break the fruit I didn't need to break that fruit but I wanted to looking at the outside of that fruit it doesn't look like anything but once it's cracked open it looks like a pineapple some kind of weird pineapple tree and that's definitely not what an actual pineapple tree would look like. No, sir. This would be a bit more tropical. Oh! Okay. At least when they're up high, I can still sometimes reach them. What is this? It reacts to my attacks. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Does it generate projectiles? No, it doesn't. I have no idea what that is. 
I guess I'll have to leave it for now. Hello, Mr. Rock Golem. Inescapable hit. If I see an enemy flashing yellow, I can't avoid it by dodging. I should block or run. Okay. That's good to know. Are you immune to regular magic? No. You're just immune to fire. Okay, yeah, I can't dodge through him. Ouch. Woo! Okay. You are a beefy boy. I'm on the other side of you. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to turn around, of course. Foolish Golem, you did not expect my uh, shield to explode! It's okay, sometimes I forget I can do that. Alright, so we save over here. And apparently save again, even though I did not try to. There is another one of those sprites over there, but I can't seem to get it. I'm, I have passed by so many things that just scream, you're getting a double jump sometime. And I'm looking forward to getting it. Ooh, little yellow slimes. Oh, they're fast. Okay. Tiny slimes. Fast and furious. Gotta be careful with them. Man, this is a lengthy tunnel. Ah, oh, it's a cobalt. I'm definitely interested in seeing where this tunnel leads, though. Hello. Oh, a locked door. Does this tell me where it goes? The Tempest Mines. Okay, I need a special key for that. Ooh. Hello, Breakable. I, oh my lord, look at that thing. Look at him scratching his head. I love these kobolds. I love them. Ah, okay. So I opened up a bit of a shortcut through the mine shaft here. Can't go into the mine itself until I find a key, which I have a feeling is probably going to be related to a quest or something. Most likely in Half and City. Uh oh. You're a dark cobalt. What is this purple thing? Whoa! Hi? Are you the true form? You seem to be armored. But I also seem to be able to knock you back very easily. I don't know what to make of you. I got a crit. I mean, I'm dealing damage and he's dead. Okay. What are you? Oh, pity slime. <laughs> I love that. Uh... Don't go on Avalarion, okay. That's that's good and all, but what did I just fight? Colopteran Parasite. A microbial organism took this form when it felt threatened. It looks similar to flying insects, but something about its behavior does not seem entirely normal. Its true origin is wrapped in mystery. Oh, and it resists all five elements. Wow, that's interesting. So, next time I fight one of those things, one of those parasites, I uh, I should unequip my fire orb because they just resist elemental damage. Is this a breakable wall? No. It looks like a breakable wall to me. But I gotta remember, if it's if I'm not sure, I can always check the map and it will tell me. Ow! I should have known that was gonna happen. Ow! Stop it! Look, kobolds, you're you're adorable. I get it, but I can't have you throwing hammers in my face. It ain't proper. Okay, got another another bit of a stone scaffolding situation here, complete with multiple kobolds, and they are. They're straight up fighting like Hammer Brothers from Mario, and it 
I'm not gonna be able to not see the comparison, ever. That, ooh, a happen pendant. Oh, wrong button. I want to go to my equipment. Oh, right, I have the book spell. I have to remember that. I keep forgetting I have things. So this is literally the same as the arachnid pendant, but with less attack, so worse. Yeah! Book him! The book is good. I don't know why I keep not doing it. I don't know how I keep forgetting it exists. But I do. I should really just, when I'm wandering around, keep it charged. Hello, sir. I can't quite make out this path. This other one needs to. Are you a kobold? Yes? How can I help? Aha! I knew you would return. Yes. You don't always return after putting me aside, although I could have sworn you went in the other direction. Anyway, the important thing is that you've reconsidered and returned for my maps. This old dog can still be useful. Yes. I've, uh, I've already told you. I'd love to hand them out for free, but if I want to keep helping stray travelers like you, I can't afford it. Okay, Baffall is still the best, but this guy has already hit a close second. Take a look at my maps, yes. I will. I will gladly buy your map of the Tempest Plains. Especially because it's so cheap. It's not easy making these maps. Every time I travel the plains, I find new paths. Keep that in mind, yes. Oh. This should keep you from getting lost, but you should know that my memory isn't what it once was, so you might come across roots of your own, yes. Onwards, Tin Man. Tin Man? I'm not armored, I'm a mage. And that was the one map for this place. So I can see that, yeah, it extends up a bit. Oh, that thing I was hitting has an indicator on the map as well. Oh, I just now noticed something else here. Hang on. I don't have it there, but I have it here. An indicator for how many of those sprite things and how many treasure chests there are. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's save again. I just now noticed his beast back here. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Anyways, I guess I'm going into some sort of forest now. The forest of fear. What are those? They're like magical blue deer creatures. Got like glow lamps of some sort and a fox archer. Okay. Gotta be careful of the fox archers. I could have gone underneath, couldn't I? Yes. Oh, and you can burn the grass and it burns in sequence. Oh, that is cool. That is a that is really cool. I love that. I just love everything that's happening right now. Well, let's keep on exploring and go inside this really thick log. What was that? Slide! Got him. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I saw a treasure chest up there that I would very much like to get, but I can't get on top of that log from here, so I guess I'll just keep going. Okay, got some money. And now I can go up. I said now I can go up. There we go. Hello. Can I climb that? No. That is a thing to break, not a thing to climb, even though I've climbed ropes before, and that looks like a pretty sturdy rope. It should totally let you climb that rope. I'm just saying. Anyways, I'll deal with Mr. Puppy over there in a minute. Oh, or maybe he'll just chase after me and fall down a hole. I'm okay with that, too. But I wanted to get that treasure chest before I hopped up here to the upper level. Oop, life. I wonder how long until I actually get to half End City. Yeah. Ow. 
Well, I can't get that potion. Mainly because I never use this type of potion. Because I've never felt a need to. Like, seriously, I have never felt a need to use the mana slash stamina potion. Uh, I found myself in a bit of a predicament. Shoot me. Thank you. Oh, great. Great. Okay, yeah, you can jump. You can jump. Okay, help me, book. I very much want life energy. Phew. Thank you, book. That was a bit close. I don't like being between two of those fox archers. Oh, it looks like uh, another one of those. With a health potion, heck yeah, I can use that. Eh, come on, there we go. All right, get rid of the slimes. Got another one of you. Okay. Okay, got him. There's something about the way those things move that throws me for a loop. More Asgarite. I'm assuming that I'll actually have a means to use some of this stuff that I've been finding once I get to half in city. Oh, you're a... That's a bomb! Okay, you're not resistant to normal... Okay, the Firefox is gone. Now we can press onward. Hello, dead man. Oh, jeez! That was a good ambush, little kobold. Well done. I mean, I still killed you, but that was clever. It caught me off guard. <laughs> Gotta remember, these things are uh, actually a little smart. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Ah, you know what? I'm not taking any chances. Let's uh, summon a book. I think the book is going to have better homing capabilities. Eh. You are in a really annoying to hit spot, Buster. Got him! And I leveled up. Ooh, which means... I can hit the wrong button. But more importantly, I can get a skill. Altered state, resistance, powers of bursts, or duration of my reflections. Why is... Okay. I don't know why that was white for a bit. So Okay, so at level 18, I reveal more masteries. At level 30, I reveal even more. 20, oh, and 12, I would reveal one there. Would I reveal one there? No. That one's been revealed. Hmm. So, I want to see what if I could get, like, the level 12 one, but I feel like this would be the most useful. So I'm going to learn that. Increase the power of my bursts. Nice. Oh, and it increased the range, too. Yeah, that only goes to, like, there. Whereas, if the staff is fully charged... Yeah, it goes all the way to the pillar. So it increases the damage and the range. I like that. Boom! All right. Oh, well, looks like I'm now in some sort of forest ruins. Oh, wait, you're a firefox. Gotta be careful with the fire foxes. Better to not hit them with fire. Better to hit them with blue magic. Can't grab there, but I can grab there for some reason. Can I go up here? No. I can go up here, but then I'm not gonna be able to reach this. And I'm gonna wager, yeah, I can't grab onto that. So I've gotta go down and around. I gotta go the long way. Okay, another fire fox. Ugh. I don't like your exploding arrows. There we go. Can't go up there. Gotta stick to the low ground. Woo! All that ammo. 
All right. So my ammo has been recharged. Can I, like, is this a door? No. But I can go up. Let's see what's in this box. A ring. The soul ring. The last hopes of some poor soul were sealed inside this ring. Is that equipment? It is. It would lower all of my everything. Oh, protects the user from death. Oh. Oh, and this gives me a healing effect. Interesting. So they actually have other effects, too. So this is basically an extra life if I equip it. Okay, I'll have to remember that. If I'm in a situation where I'm about to die, but I'd rather not die, I can switch to that ring and have it give me a life shield of sorts. Got it. Okay, what's in here? Rockerite. Ragnarite, Rockerite, Asgarite. I don't know what they're all going to do, but they are all themed after Ragnarok. As one would expect in a game about Ragnarok. <laughs> all right, let us proceed. Save statue. Works for me. And another Baffle uh, station. Okay, then. Hello? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Get back, soldier. It's too dangerous. I will not let anyone else die today. I'll handle it. Go, please. Nope. You won't change your mind, then. Well, as you wish, it would be an honor to die fighting alongside you. General Bagard. Fuzaga! We are facing off of the Minotaur! Oh, jeez. Okay. So he's got Boomerang Axe. Woo! Boom! Oh, and he has Whirlwind Axe. Okay. Block and still get hurt. Okay, then. This is going to take a couple tries. <laughs> Minotaur does not play around. I noticed that his boomerang axe, he glows yellow, so that means that I can't dodge through it. I have to block it or evade it. Whoop. All right. Oh, man. Staying up close to him actually works pretty well up until he decides to whirlwind attack. All right. I think that roar means he's entered a new phase of the fight. Let's keep it going. At least I'm not fighting him alone. I have General Bagard by my side. And he's actually pulling his weight quite handily. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I have to watch how he holds his axe. If he rears back like that, he's gonna swing it. But if he holds it back like a baseball bat, he's about to spin in circles. With all that in mind, he's not that bad. <laughs> I say as I almost die. Whew. That was intense. General Bagard? <sighs> Didn't expect a clearing like this to be so treacherous. That beast came bursting out, blocking our way, and I couldn't do anything for them. They're... soldiers. They're not trained to fight these monsters. Soldier, I don't know these lands, but I'm certain that you've just made history in them. I often think my job is to give you hope, but in reality, you are the ones who give it to me. Thank you for the reminder. I don't know about you, but I'll never accept this fate. I swear that we will reach the very limit of this world if that's what it takes to get out of this place. I see it clearly now. It seems we are nearing the Citadel. We should rest there, then I will make sure they are given a proper burial. 
We'll see you later. I don't want to leave their bodies out in the open for too long. At the mercy of these forest beasts. I like Brigard. He's a good man. He's a good man and a good general. I am also on the verge of death. And would very much like to not be anymore. Mmm, that's the good stuff. Alright. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Um, and of what General Brigard has said, it sounds like we're very close to the city. So I guess next time on Soldiers, we'll head to the city. And actually get there. Without having to fight a Minotaur on the way. Because we've already done that. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.